Pi, and welcome to the Daily Blessings channel. We will be posting inspirational prayers and true life Christian stories. Bible verses will be read from the King James Version of the Bible and or the NIV Bible. If you would like to see a video on a particular topic, please request it in the comments section. We enjoy comments and discussions, but please be kind and courteous to everyone. Remember to subscribe, like, and ring that bell so you won't miss a thing. Many years ago, my pastor's wife Nancy told us a story. Her story really touched me and several other church members. Me and several others tried her suggestions and really helped change our lives. Not only did we reduce our stress levels drastically, but we all also got closer to our Heavenly Father and developed closer, happier relationships with our spouses and children. I hope that telling her story helps some of you as well. Okay, brothers and sisters, let's get to it. Fancy began her story by saying, I just can't catch a break. Maybe I should just give up. When I was a child, I remember hearing my parents saying this during their most stressful times. I also remember thinking, can it be that bad? Are we going to be okay? Now that I'm an adult, a parent, and a grandparent, I better understand how my parents sometimes felt. There were days, weeks, and even months that I couldn't seem to catch a break. Do you ever feel overwhelmed or stressed? Like you can't keep up with life's hectic schedule, work demands, and family responsibilities. Do you feel like there's no time to slow down, catch your breath, or simply take a much needed nap? Most of us feel this way at times. When I get caught up in the rush of daily life, it's easy to feel like there isn't enough time to do the things that matter, the things that make me happy, like being present in the moment, not caught up in my mind, stressing over what could or might go wrong with all of my well-laid plans focusing on the good things happening in my life and to others around me, and most importantly receiving blessings from God. It's sad but true. Along with my job responsibilities, the kids' sports events, and trying to remember to buy TP the next time I went to the grocery store, I let reading God's word and connecting with my Heavenly Father fall by the wayside. One day, I had a light bulb moment. I realized that reading God's word and praying are the two most important things I can do, to help me not only during stressful times, but in all aspects of my life. From that day forward, once a day, I prayed and set aside at least five minutes to surround myself with God's word. I realized that my job, household chores, and social events didn't matter if I was doing it all, with a heart that wasn't focused on God. How could I be focused on God if I was ignoring him? I admit it wasn't easy that first week to carve out five minutes here and 10 minutes there but I was determined to get back to where I needed to be with God. Each day it became easier to find just a little more time to read and pray. Within two weeks I realized I was becoming less stressed, relaxed, and focused on what mattered most in my life. Do you need to take time to refocus on our Heavenly Father's Word? If so, grab a cup of coffee or a tall glass of iced tea and take just a few minutes right now to pray and ask God for His blessing and peace. Get back in the habit of taking all your burdens and stress and laying them at the Father's feet. Once you turn from being stressed into blessed, you'll be glad you did. These are a few of the verses that help me. John chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16 Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. Let us pray a prayer for peace of mind, body, and soul. Father God, we come to you today to thank you for the mercy and blessings you have bestowed upon us in our lives. Father, we give you praise for these amazing gifts we have received. We thank you for your love and protection, even though we are not always that faithful to you. Lord Jesus, we ask you to give us peace of mind, body, soul, and spirit. We ask that, if it is your will, that you heal and remove everything that is causing stress, grief, and sorrow in our lives. Lord, if it is not your will, please give us the patience to wait until you reveal the plan you have for us. Because we know, Lord, that you love us and only have our best interest at heart. Help us, Lord, to understand your ways are not always our way. Help us to leave behind our carnal minds and gain spiritual understanding. Please guide us on our path through life. Help us to stay within your will and not our own. Let your peace reign within our hearts, Lord, and in our homes, at our places of work, 
and in everything we do. Send your angels of peace to go ahead of us, clearing our paths of any evil looking to steal our peace. Help us, Lord, not to fall back into the habits of man, but to open our hearts and minds into a spiritual understanding of the path you would have us walk. We lay at your feet the burdens of stress, fear, anger, and worry, not to be picked up and placed upon our shoulders again. We claim this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you enjoyed the video, please share it with your family and friends. Visit us daily for new content and thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.